comeback music video, Sherlock. So let's get right into it. The MV came out last week and we're both very impressed with the MV. The story of the MV actually tells the story of Shiny as detectives. So in the beginning of the music video, they get this letter underneath the door and this letter contains many clues about what they need to find. So they act like Sherlock's, all of them, detectives trying to find this treasure through the clues that they've been sent so the whole adventure takes place in this old house so while they're actually looking for this treasure each member keeps seeing this really beautiful girl and it's Sonia Shade's Jessica who's featuring as the ghost who's haunting the house so they keep seeing her around the house and they don't take any notice of it they they're a little bit shocked but for someone who's seeing a ghost I mean, I, calm. <laughs> yeah, they're very calm. They're not very scared at all, which was, uh, you know, a bit interesting. But anyway, and then throughout the music video, they're looking for these clues and they even u- use their dog to find the clues. And right at the end of the music video, they actually find the treasure behind this hidden wall by, with the help of the dog. And they get really excited and they get pictures taken, you know, in the newspaper and stuff. And right at the end of the music video, when they're actually looking at their article in the newspaper they figure out that the treasure they found actually belonged to the girl that they kept seeing and i think that's when it kind of hits them oh my god oh, she was a ghost, ghost. <laughs> and then and and even then they don't look scared they all have this hmm i'm curious <laughs> face you know it wasn't even scared so that was a bit like are you being serious i would run out of there in a flash but okay shiny are very manly i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and as expected from Shiny, the dances in this music video is amazing. Um, most of the dances is a chain synchronization, so one member does a dance move and the next member follows through. So it's like a domino effect. It's pretty cool. So the dances include um, kind of a body wave, but their body wave is a bit unique because they really emphasize on their head. They look a bit like duck, but it's really, <laughs> really cute. Like the way they do it, it's just yeah. so cute. And they do a bit of a twirling motion, and also they do a, a camera capturing gesture when they say, I'm so curious. So I think that lyrics kind Fits of relates, the lyrics, yeah, yeah. relates to the gesture they were doing. And they also do them high knee running. So overall, I think it would be a brilliant dance exercise routine. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind Shiny being my dance instructor. <laughs> I don't think anyone would mind Shiny being their, dance you know, instructor. exercise yeah, yeah. dance instructor. <laughs> yeah, Shiny could be the new Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good idea, mate. Moving on to the fashion. The fashion of this music video actually is very, very cool. It stays in touch with the teaser pictures that they came out with, the very hippie teaser pictures. So the fashion in this music video is a fusion between hippie accessories that some of them wear and modern pieces like what he was wearing. Yeah, he's. I think he's, he was the only one who wasn't wearing long pants. He was wearing um, cargo pants. Very American inspired with the stars. stars and yeah. Everything. Yeah. And Onyo was actually wearing this rope jacket. So it was a jacket or a vest made out of white rope. Now I'm not sure how I feel about that because I don't think it it added anything to his outfit. It was a bit weird. Because you can only see it when he turned around, so I don't know. And also Taman's skirt pants thing i think that's a trend that's coming back i mean that was in fashion when i was 10 years old and it was strictly for girls now this is coming back because you saw this first with big bangs come back with tonight so gd was actually wearing this skirt trouser thing and now Taman's doing it so the big korean artists are doing it I really, really don't want to see guys the wearing of skirts. Fashion style is coming back to boys. <laughs> yeah, which is really weird. I would not really like my brother to wear a skirt with trousers. I'd be like, take that off right now. But I guess they look cool in the music video. Yeah. Moving on to hairstyles. Now, we have a debate going on about Taman's hair. Now, Maybelline actually absolutely loves Taman's hairstyle, but we both have an issue. With, with the hair, that the, hairstyle being on him, it's like no, no, and the hair. Yeah, <laughs> it it looks very weird on him. I don't understand. I don't understand the concept of him having long hair. But like his hair is very neatly and very pretty. Yeah. I'm just like, 
I love that hair. I want that hairstyle. It's like it's like a very cool hairstyle for girls. So I don't understand. Like the hippie hairstyle is quite messy and unruly, and this was well, very neat and very a, straightened. This is kind of a Korean hippie. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but we we don't know. Talking about hair, I really really like Minho heads. Minho has two hairstyle. One was um, long straight uh, fringe hair. The other one is kind of gel back hairstyle. He looks amazing there. And another member who looks really cool in the hairstyle is Key. He's got curly hair with funky glasses. I think Key's look the coolest in this music video. He's always looked very cool. He's like a fashionista or shiny. And yeah. In some scenes, um, he has um, Key has long straight fringe. Um, he, it reminds me a bit of um, Onyok from Mr. Simple because they both have um, long blonde fringe which kind of covers half of their yeah. head where they can't see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's like an SM thing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they have the same stylist. You never know. <laughs> Moving on to the English in the song. Now, the English in the song we were both very impressed with because it was an improvement for SM. Yeah, because they actually have quite a lot of English, which makes sense with the songs like "Shiny's Back" at the beginning, and "I'm So Curious" with them being detective, etc. And also, there's some um, worse. Tonight, Shiny's in the house, give it up for Shiny. So that's definitely a proof of Shiny. Normally, the, the English in the song is just doesn't yeah, go random. along with it's the song. Completely at all. random. Yeah, just throw the English words in. <laughs> Especially for Shiny. I think Shiny songs have been known to have English that does not make sense. Like when when they go, fantastic, elastic, fantastic, yeah, I'm like, I don't understand. Fantastic can never be elastic. That really. Is, some words like that for international fans especially it kind of spoils the mood of the song because when you're going along with such a good song and then suddenly they break out into yeah. elastic so elastic like, and you're just like what especially after watching simon and martinez and then we had a reference with calvin Klein underwear and when they sing fantastic elastic. after that after watching that the monday music video i can't i cannot listen to the song anymore yeah. without thinking about simon with his underpants yeah but we're, it's definite improvement for sm you can tell that they've been working with individuals who know english to bring out some of the english words like the hype words that they had in the music video the only thing that we had a problem with is right at the end of the music video when they're looking at their newspaper yeah. the english is a little bit awkward i it's mean awkward, yeah, yeah it's awkward but it doesn't matter because it was in shot for about less than five seconds so well, at least they're moving in the right direction yep exactly overall we really like the music video and the songs and definitely the music video was an improvement because when we first saw the teaser picture we're just shocked. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're like, just oh like, what God. is happening to Shiny? Where did their coolness go? But, but yeah. we can we can definitely see the coolness. I mean, this song was really really good. It's very easy to sing along to this song. You can you can feel the hype of their comeback. Yeah, it's you quite can, addictive as well. Yeah, it's a very very good song. So we're both really impressed with their comeback, and more than impressed, we're relieved that it's an actual good song rather than a really weird song yeah we're just after seeing the teaser picture we're just like oh my gosh what is this song we, like? we were a little bit dreading yeah. what we thought but we're really glad that it's a good song yeah so that's it with our opinion this week uh, if you do have any requests go to our blog kobsession.blogspot.co.uk we've also now got a facebook page which is facebook.com slash kobsession uh, you can also download our podcast on our Podomatic page. Which is k-obsession.podomatic.com You can also download our podcast on iTunes for free. Yep, so be sure to like and subscribe to any of the pages that we mentioned above. Yeah. We would love your support. Yeah, make sure you go to the blog as well. Thank you. Annyeong! Annyeong.